Abductor pollicis longus. The abductor pollicis longus is an important muscle. It arises from the posterior surface of the ana, the radius, and the interosseous membrane. Insertion, the base of the first metacarpal. Actions, it abducts and extends the thumb at the carbometacarpal joint. Nerve supply is the posterior interosseous nerve. Why this muscle is important? because of the decorvain syndrome. There are six extensor compartments at the rest. The first compartment will have the abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis. Both are in the first compartment and both are involved in decorvain syndrome. The decorvain syndrome occurs in women. It can also occur in golfer and racket sports. It can occur without any cause or maybe from an overuse or postpartum. The patient will have radial sided wrist pain. The test you'll use is the Finkelstein provocative test. And here how the test is done. Just be aware that the tenderness over the first dorsal compartment at the level of the radial styloid is probably decorvain syndrome. If the tenderness about 5 cm proximal to the rest joint, then it's probably intersection syndrome. So what is decorvain syndrome anyhow? It is a stenosing inflammatory condition of the first dorsal compartment of the wrist. It involves the two tendons, abductor pollicis longus and the extensor pollicis brevis. There is a problem with these two tendons, so the abductor pollicis longus tendon can have multiple slips, or it can have its own separate compartment. The extensor pollicis brevis may be hidden within the subsheath. So if we fail to decompress them because of these little twists in their anatomy, then the patient may have recurrence of the symptoms. So recurrence of the symptoms in somebody with decorvain could be due to failure to decompress because of the unusual anatomy of these two tendons. Either they have multiple slips or they hide in a separate sheath or compartment. The abductor pollicis longus is also incriminated in Bennett fracture. What is the deformity in Bennett fracture? The key is the volar ulnar beak fracture fragment attached to the palmar oblique ligament. The distal part of the first metacarpal is abducted by the abductor pollicis muscle innervated by the ulnar nerve. The metacarpal shaft is displaced proximally by the abductor pollicis longus muscle which is innervated by the posterior interosseous nerve. I hope you liked that video. If you liked the video, please push the button like and thank you for listening. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.